Ok, moi, je, vais, je vais faire ma présentation en français. I'm going to do my presentation in uh, French. Uh, merci. Thank you uh, very much for uh, inviting us for this event that is extremely interesting, uh, what we've seen so far. My presentation won't be as good as the pictures that we've just seen in the amazing landscape. I will say that uh, we are making efforts uh, to uh, contribute uh, for the um, Atlantic uh, Flyway. So the presentation that I'm doing at the moment is in partnership with the uh, regional conservation. And I want to explain what we've put in place for the coastal area and the wetland um, marine and coastal zones. Sorry, I've got some issues. So what is the uh, PRCM for those who don't know? Uh, just a little bit of background. So it is a program that was uh, established in 2003 by four uh, international organizations. It was with the IUCN, uh, the FIRA, that is in Mauritania, Wetland International, of course, and the WWF that decided to uh, join their uh, efforts along the Western African coast to uh, answer, uh, to give a common answer and a common approach on this part of Africa, with also, of course, the contribution of the Sub-Regional uh, Commission on uh, Fisheries for Mauritania, Senegal, Gambia, and Guinea-Bissau. So in 2012, this program became a regional partnership, as I said, uh, that is uh, uh, linking seven countries. You will see the map a little bit uh, later on. So in 2018, uh, this partnership became a regional organization under the Senegalese law. And uh, in this partnership, um, we have a diversity of members. We've got small uh, local associations and very large international organizations. So Wetland International and so on. And it is uh, conceived, uh, created as a collection of diverse strengths and initiatives uh, with a common goal, which is uh, bio conservation of biodiversity. We've put in place a platform that federates the coastal and uh, marine conservation initiatives for Western Africa. So what is the vision of the uh, PRCM? Uh, we need to have a healthy and productive coastal and, and marine environment for the well-being of Western African populations. We're talking about involving local communities also in everything that is a preservation of resources. So that was the uh, history. So now, uh, what is the intervention area? So as I said, you've got seven countries. Uh, you can see this on the uh, map. Uh, part of the uh, Western African. So you've got Mauritania, Sierra Leone, and we've got uh, the islands of Cape Verde. What are the areas of intervention? So what are we doing? We're talking about sustainable fisheries in this area. And uh, we work on uh, resilience of uh, coastal sites and communities uh, uh, that are vulnerable to climate change. We talk about coastal infrastructures, but also on the impact of uh, offshore uh, oil and gas activities on the environment, 
on the coast. We work uh, uh, also on conservation and restoration of mangroves and coastal wetlands, and also uh, protection of vulnerable marine and coastal species, those who are particularly vulnerable. So here you've got a you've got some pictures that illustrates uh, the different areas of intonation. So we're talking about protection of turtles, for example, and wetlands. So uh, what are the programs of the PRCM? So we've got three programs. The first is the good governance of fisheries resources. That's the first pillar, I would say. The second is strengthening the resilience of marine and coastal ecosystems climate change, etc. And the third pillar would be conservation of vulnerable species and habitats. So this third program uh, creates a transition with the wetland and coastal birds action plan that I'm going to explain right now. So the action plan for coastal areas and wetlands uh, has is called the PASOC. So it is a, an action plan that is uh, funded and financed by the MAVA. So we are at the second stage now of that program. So we are uh, focusing on wetlands and coastal birds uh, for West Africa. What are the objectives of this plan? We would like to mitigate the current negative impacts on the breeding and uh, wintering areas of water birds on uh, priority sites. So we've got the Banc d'Arguin in Mauritania, we've got the uh, lower delta of the Senegal River between Mauritania and Senegal, we've got uh, the Saloum and we've got the archipelago of Bijabos and they are priority sites for this plan. What is the vision of this partnership? So we want to have a strong partnership in which stakeholders actively share information, knowledge and experiences and together, and I insist on the word together, mobilize international donors to collectively achieve identified priorities and objectives uh, of the action plan. So this is the vision of this partnership. In terms of uh, geographic scope, um, we have uh, three uh, coastal countries in Western Africa. So we talk about, of course, Mauritania, uh, Senegal and Guinea-Bissau. This action plan will use how, if I may say, two main threats. We uh, use land and natural resources, uh, not compatible with coastal wetland conservation. There are many things that and many challenges we need to address. And the second thing is the mortality and disturbances caused by human activities on the wetlands, but also on a coastal areas. So these are the two threats that we need to address with this action plan. We have a theory of change that gives different levels of intervention and we have priority uh, sites on an international, national and regional level. So we've got different level of intervention with local and national actors. We have a first strategy, which is uh, strengthening the partnership with countries, but also on a regional level. And the second strategy is to develop uh, research, uh, capitalize uh, and disseminate the knowledge and the different activities. The third strategy is building capacities of the uh, actors that are involved in this work of preservation of wetlands and coastal birds. 
Strategy four is uh, everything around communication, raising awareness of local communities, uh, decision makers, and different actors. Strategy five is the advocacy on the national level and the international level to raise awareness for uh, birds and uh, wetlands and so this stra strategy five is only for the sites so actions on site how to protect manage and track the birds and six enhance site protection so here are the six strategies and we uh, want to improve our knowledge and uh, strengthen our capacities and also uh, improve uh, the commitment of the different stakeholders. So this is something that we need to achieve and also uh, strengthening and enforcement of the legislation, which is something critical and uh, improving uh, site protection. And as I said, uh, identifying uh, priority sites and protecting the sites. So now that you've got a vision, global vision of our theory of change, we've got five projects that are uh, in progress now around uh, wetlands and coastal birds. So we've got three national uh, projects, one regional project that implies three big organizations, one project that we share all together that is dedicated in strengthening the partnership between all those different stakeholders. So who are the partners of the action plan? As I said, we have three regional uh, organizations, four national administrations, and they work on those different uh, thematics, which are biodiversity, uh, wetlands, uh, migratory birds. We've got three uh, local uh, um, NGOs, so local civil society organizations that are involved also in this action plan. And for universities, you can see on the picture, you've got IBAB, Bicavisao, BMPA, Mauritania, uh, the direction of national parks in Senegal, and so on. If I uh, now talk about uh, what we do, uh, the actions that we take, uh, we have the support of the celebration of World Day for wetland, migratory bird, biodiversity, environment, so all the national days, international days. So we really help the civil society to uh, mark those days and celebrate those days through communication on a local and national uh, plan. And we really want to uh, to highlight those very important days so can people can talk about them. So here you've got the, res the, the National Park of Talisan. Uh, I think two years ago, uh, that was the celebration of the uh, International Day of uh, Migratory Birds. We also produce uh, uh, technical uh, documents uh, on uh, species that have that are critical in terms of migration. Here we have. Um, a summary of the trends over 20 years, uh, how the behaviors and the habits of the migratory birds uh, over the three countries. So this document has been released in three languages, uh, English, French, and Portuguese. So it is available in the sub-regional context. We've also uh, made a film that is a call for cooperation along the uh, migration flyways. So this is a, a small uh, video that you can see on the YouTube uh, that platform. So there is an extract here. So it's a very good uh, short film that you can see on YouTube. So we've produced that small video 
Cornell Lab. Or so the uh, Cornell Lab Laboratory uh, made that film with uh, images given by different partners. We've also uh, decided to um, publish a newsletter to share general interest and uh, scientific information. So this newsletter uh, is released twice a year and we can share a lot of information, uh, actualities, numbers about wetlands, different things happening. So here you see we've talked about uh, chicken flu uh, that has been discovered uh, in Mauritania and in Senegal. So a lot of uh, scientific publications uh, on specific birds, for example. And here on the right, you've got the projects, the important dates for migratory birds. So this is what we're doing. And the newsletter is a good way to exchange information with the community and, and, and partners that are involved. Uh, also for other people, not necessarily for those who are partners. And here uh, we have a platform where we can exchange and share information, uh, scientific and technical information around the birds and the different flyways. We uh, also support countries uh, for uh, the designation of wetlands uh, that could be put on the national list of wetlands for the Ramsan list. So that's what we're doing in Mauritania at the moment. And we try to uh, increase the number of sites that will be labeled uh, as wetlands. And we do the same work in Senegal and in Guinea-Bissau. So this is what we're doing. So uh, this is just my last slide. Uh, so this is, if you want to watch the uh, YouTube film, uh, this is the link. This is what you need to type. So you've got it in English and in French. Uh, if you want to see the different sites uh, that uh, are part of these action plans, uh, so we did it with Cornella, uh, Cornell Lab Ornithology. So I invite you to visit this, uh, this website. So go on YouTube and uh, you can also uh, see other actors that will be... Um, and the different uh, migratory birds. So I'm done with my presentation. Thank you very much. And I'm very happy to have been invited for this event. Thank you very much.